today I got a good one for you. I got the DD D4 Duo versus the DD D3 Pro. Which one is your best microphone solution? It's going to depend on your situation, but let's talk about it next. All right, welcome back to another video. I'm really glad you're here. I can't wait to talk to you today about these two microphones and which one is the best microphone in different situations. I actually just got back from a family trip at Disneyland. I brought both these microphones along with me because I really wanted to test them and put them through their paces to see which microphone was going to be the best for family vlogging, for travel videos. I want to know which one was going to do the best job. I'm going to tell you, you're going to be surprised with the answer. Now, both of these offered some interesting challenges that I wasn't really thinking of being in a place like Disneyland. Both had their pros and they had their cons. But which one did I ultimately stick with most of the time? Well, I'll tell you about that at the end of the video. Previously, I will tell you that I've gone with a video camera. That's your all-in-one solution. So this is the first time I had a true mirrorless camera. Picking the right mic was really important because the onboard mic on these cameras are not very good. The audio is gonna be pretty much garbage. You're gonna need a dedicated shotgun mic to sound best. This is the DD D4 Duo. It is a really nice, small, compact mic. It's got actually two wind muffs. The reason why is it has a front capsule and it has a rear capsule it's got two mics one on the front one on the back it also has this side input here so you can use the front capsule and the input and that's going to get you an extra additional channel if you want to run like a lav mic to somebody so let's say you're booming over top you can then run a lav mic down your boom pole and up through your person's shirt and you got redundant audio and it does have this switch on the back here allows you to switch between having everything focused both channels focused focused in this front capsule here, or if you push it backwards, it's gonna capture one audio channel here and the other audio channel here. And then in post, you can actually separate them and have different audio levels for those. Now, what I would recommend though, if you do break the audio into two, you will want to double up on the audio for both channels to give you that stereo surround sound. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have one channel coming in the right ear and the other channel coming in the left ear. The person in front of the mic is always going to be talking in the right and the other person is going to be talking through the other ear it's going to sound a little weird so you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you set it up so that you get that dual audio that so you can get that stereo gain on there now like i said it does come with two wind muffs on it and i can tell you that these wind muffs are very very secure i've been very happy with these wind muffs i do have the rode video micro a shotgunning right now out of frame it sounds good but one of the things that used to frustrate me so much with this microphone is that the dead cat would constantly keep falling off off. Once over time of it coming on and off, it really started losing its shape. I really got frustrated using that as a wind muff. Going to the DDD4 Duo, the wind muffs, I've been very happy with how secure and how good they stay on. Now, the nice thing is with that back capsule, if you are filming something, you can flip it to that back capsule. You can get some audio coming back at the mic. With standard shotgun microphones, you're only going to capture from the front. So if you're showing off scenery or something like that and you want to narrate, my recommendation would be is then you would have to turn your microphone back backwards here you don't ever have to take it off your camera you just flip that switch and it's going to go ahead and it's going to get you that audio from behind the other beauty of this mic is that it has no power requirements so basically the 3.5 millimeter jack that this mic has is going to be enough to power it so you don't need to have additional power which the d3 pro does require additional power we'll get to that in a minute you just basically plug it in your camera you turn your camera on turn it off and you're good to go downside is is that you will have to increase the gain on your camera now, if you have bad preamps, increasing the gain can sometimes create an additional hiss or humming in the background. One of the downsides of this is because you have this rear capsule, it does stick off the back of your camera. There's no way to adjust it. So as you're going to that center eyepiece, constantly hitting yourself in the face if you're trying to take a still shot. And this is, this is hitting you in the head. So you can't always get your eye right into the eyepiece, which makes it a little bit difficult. And what I found is, is that some of my shots were not completely level when I was shooting photos and I was trying to use the eyepiece so I ended up finding myself relying a lot more on the back of the camera now this thing is great because it's small it's compact it slips easily into a bag I absolutely love the form factor of this it's so tiny it's so convenient to have with you it's very discreet as well it's not gonna draw a lot of attention to you when you're out shooting for example I've thrown this on my Sony ZV-1 it doesn't really increase
increase the footprint too much. So I like how small and compact this thing is. Now let's talk about the DDD3 Pro. Now this is a powered cardio microphone, which basically means that it's only going to take signal from the front. It's gonna start cutting down on the signal from the side and then from the back, it's gonna be really cut down. You're gonna sound a little muffled if you're behind it. Again, if you're out shooting some video of scenery, you're gonna to wanna to turn this mic backwards, mount it onto your camera backwards, go ahead and show your scenery and you can talk and you're gonna still get great audio. And then you're gonna to have to switch it back to the front when you wanna capture stuff that's happening in front of the camera. But this thing is a powered microphone. Battery life lasts some like 56 to 60 hours. It automatically does go into standby mode when you do turn your camera off. There is a light on here that is green when it's powered on and then it goes yellow when camera is powered off. And if it starts blinking, that means that you're running out of juice. Now you can charge this thing on the go with a USB-C. So if you have like a power brick or something like that that you can plug into it, you can get some additional time out of it. I did find that you could run for about two full days on a family vacation with this microphone before you had to charge it. Now the beauty of this is it does have volume gain here in the back. You're able to adjust the volume very easily in the microphone. And it's always better if you have the ability to increase the gain in the microphone and lower your preamps in your camera. It's always better doing that. You're going to get much cleaner audio doing that. This can go all the way up to 10. So it starts at one and it can go all the way up to 10. So you can increase the gain and let your camera do less of the work. Now this thing is definitely going to be heavier than the D4 Duo. Not crazy heavy. I mean, this is super light and this one, it's definitely heavier. Is it noticeably heavier? Are you going to really be weighed down having this on your camera? Probably not. If you got a full frame camera or even an APS-C camera, if you got some big glass on there, adding this mic on is not going to weigh you down any more than that huge glass is going to. Now here's the downside. So it does come with this windscreen on it, which is going to help with the Gonna help with the pops but the problem is it's not gonna help with the wind so you do need to buy an additional wind muff in order to make sure that you're cutting down on a lot of the wind noise that's gonna be coming in this thing dd really does not have a wind muff for this outside of this pop filter so i did pick this one up i'll leave links to everything down in the description below so if you're looking to pick up any of this gear you'll have full availability to all the links down in the description below also this microphone has low pass filters so you can actually low pass it down to 75 and 150 so you can cut out even more wind noise when using this as an outdoor microphone now again this is only a front directional microphone when you get off to the sides or if you want to get that ambient sound unless you're pointing at the ambient sound it's going to sound a little muffled or a little off that's the downside where the d4 duo you're able to flip on the front and rear capsule and you're able to capture more of that ambient sound now i do think the sound quality coming out of this mic is really good it's what i use for almost every single one of my videos here in the studio it's usually boomed overhead so it sounds really really nice super sharp super crisp of course you're gonna have to do some audio post work with any microphone i love using this as a boom mic i think it does an exceptional job of capturing just my voice and i don't have to worry about getting a lot of outside gain coming in on this mic now when you're traveling this is a bigger footprint so it is going to be bigger in your bag i'm going to go ahead and take this off put this wind muff on and i mean look at how much bigger this thing is than this D4 Duo. You got all this extra over here. You're definitely gonna be increasing your footprint with this thing. It's gonna look a lot bigger on your camera. People are definitely gonna notice you got this honking mic on there. I also have a love-hate relationship with this shock mount here. This shock mount does have two different wheels on here, which is great, but it's also a pain in the butt. Here's what I can show you. I can show you that it, it does slide back and forth. The problem that you have with the D4 Duo, you don't have with this. So you can slide this forward and now you're not bashing yourself against the head when you're trying to take those still photos. You can lock this down and then it has this other one down here on the bottom. That one is for when you're locking down your camera. The problem is, is that these rotate in opposite directions. If you bump this mic when it's on your camera, so if you're holding it on your side and you bump the mic, this tends to loosen. Then what ends up happening is, is it just falls off your camera and it's very very annoying it's so annoying that i ended up scrapping this mic after day two and going just with this mic now the audio quality took a little bit of a hit using this and i did have to increase my preamps but i can tell you that going with this mic was so much easier because once this thing locks in it locks in it doesn't move around which is fantastic now before i get into my final thoughts do me a favor if you're liking this video go ahead and hit that like button for me go ahead and smash it hit it 
that hit it. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell because I'm gonna be giving you more great content just like this. And also comment down below on which mic you're thinking about going with. My final thoughts, the D3 Pro, great microphone, but I left it in the room after day two. I was just so frustrated with it falling off the camera constantly. I'm in the middle of shooting some and then all of a sudden it's just toppling off just frustrated me. I wish there was a replacement. And if somebody knows where I can get a different shock mount, please, please comment down below because I would love a different shock mount. It would make this microphone so much better. So I think that this microphone has a great place for maybe client work or if you want to use it as a boom mic. But as far as day to day family vlogging goes, where you just want to go and capture a moment, hanging out with the kids, the wife, the family, I would not recommend this mic. I would actually recommend the D4 Duo. The reason why I love the small compact nature of it, it's really great for running and gunning and it's a very small footprint. This one much better for like your interview setups, your studio work, things of that nature. This one, I'm telling you, if you're going to be a family vlogger, this one is the way to go. You get the back side, you get the front side, you get it all in one small, tight, tiny little package. You just want to make sure you have good preamps in your camera and that's going to help this mic sound even better. So if you like this video, I'm sure you're going to like the video on the screen now. Before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'm so happy that you stopped by, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. So go ahead and click on it now. Let's chat then. Thanks for watching.